I'm an oceanographer, so I go out to sea and collect water samples and gas samples, um, bring them back to the lab and analyze them, and they tell me about what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm contributing to understanding of the way our planet works and hopefully um, that will bring knowledge um, and some insight into courses of action. I feel like a little kid still too, you know, I mean, because it's fun and we get to do the coolest stuff. <laughs> we get to play with the coolest toys and go to the coolest places. Probably what got me interested in science, I've always really enjoyed science, but really it was the ocean. And I ended up taking this class called uh, Microbial Ecology, and they were showing us pictures of like out on ships taking samples and then taking them into the lab and doing molecular work. And I thought, oh, that's it. That's the one that has the lab, it has the ocean, it has everything I need. So actually from that point, I decided that that's what I was going to do. So I went and got a master's in that. I've always liked to know how things work and science is a natural extension of that. That's basically what we do is try to figure out how things work and why. A lot of people have this image of scientists as nerds wearing white lab coats and horn-rimmed safety glasses. It's not necessarily the case. <laughs> There's a, a wide spectrum of uh, folks that are involved in and do science. If you like to do a lot of different things, that's what science is. You have to be a dreamer, a writer, do math, you have to like budgets, right? You gotta, you know, know how to run a business in a way. Science is everything. You need to be able to handle data. You need to be able to describe, you know, the temperature of the ocean or the thickness of the ice or how much algae might be growing there. And you have to do it in a way that uh, is accurate and quantitative, so the next person will be able to do, do the same. So when I grew up, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. I didn't know any scientist. I figured you had to be kind of this genius. And it wasn't until I was in graduate school that I realized it's not about being smart. It's about being creative. It's about working really hard. It's about being organized. You don't have to be a genius. Um, and you just have to be willing to work, work really hard. And it's not hard to work really hard if you love what you're doing. The responsibility is really gonna be on, on my generation and, and these generations to come and, and these students to take responsibility to, to better the world. Because we're given this world that's being poisoned and, and damaged and overpopulated. And, and so we're the ones who are gonna have to, to step up and it's really important to, to, re to acknowledge that, but it's also exciting because we get to be the ones to, to move forward and fix things. And this is, this is really like new territory, so. If you wanna work in science or you think you might want to, uh, just talk to your teachers at school. If you have a teacher who um, you really love or that is really like, you know, interested and excited about science and talk to them more. Uh, it's just fascinating. Um, science is, encompasses, you know, a huge spectrum of um, basically any of the physical world we see. Science is exciting, really. If you're doing research, you get to be the first person to know something. You get to be the first person to see something that nobody's ever seen or, you know, known before. Science is hard work but also really satisfying because uh, we're out here trying to make a difference in the world and trying to help um, open a lot of the general public's eyes to things that are going on, especially in the Arctic, because a lot of the issues that we're seeing um, that pertains to climate change uh, is basically magnified in the Arctic because there are um, there is a lot of sea ice and it's disappearing at a very rapid rate. The big thing with climate change is that we're taking CO2 in the ground, we're putting it in the atmosphere, and it's warming everything up. So what would be really great is in the Arctic Ocean, if organisms in the Arctic took up that CO2 and removed it from the atmosphere. I think science is change, right? We think that science is a question and an answer, but those questions keep evolving, and your answers keep evolving. And um, when somebody says they figured it out, that's the first step. 
So I think that there's, there's always something new to, to discover. So science is discovery and change for me.